So I've been using the Pixel 6 Pro just over two months now. I gotta be honest, I still don't miss my Galaxy S21 Plus. I know, it's kinda hard to believe. I know when I switched from my OnePlus 9 to the Galaxy S21 Plus, it was definitely a learning curve. I kinda missed some of the features that were on OnePlus. But then when I switched from Samsung to this Pixel 6 Pro, I felt like I got some of those features back. Not only that, the battery life on here is really good. I haven't had one day where it hasn't got me all the way through the day. I'm always streaming YouTube videos, streaming podcasts, or just browsing online. I would consider myself a pretty heavy user and I still didn't have my battery die before I would go to sleep. One feature that is kind of nice while I'm driving is the wireless charging, but that's more like if we go on a long trip or something. Just day-to-day -day use, I don't really use the wireless charging that much. To me, it feels like Google has put a lot more features into this Pixel phone than any other Pixel phone that I've used. I even went back to Samsung after their Android 12 update, to me, it just feels like you're missing some of the things you get with a Pixel phone. And just like I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of curved screens. I think this one is definitely better than the previous ones that I've used. Since it's a little more subtle this time, I think it's definitely better. It's still sort of a pain to find a tempered glass screen protector though. So for now, I've just been using a cheap one. I'm sure most of you already know this by now, but cameras on this phone is definitely some of the best out there. I actually prefer the cameras on here over the Galaxy S21 Plus. The only thing I feel like it needs a little bit of improvement is gonna be for video. It's definitely a huge improvement over other phones in the past, but I feel like it still gets beat by the iPhone 13 and even the Galaxy S21 in some situations. The color seems like it's a little bit off and it doesn't seem quite as smooth as Samsung or the iPhone. I know some people are gonna think the screen on here is a little bit too large, but personally, I feel like if you don't wanna grab a tablet or laptop, the screen size on here is pretty ideal for me. I mean, just browsing online, watching videos, the bigger the screen, definitely a little bit easier on the eyes, and it's still pretty easy for me to grip, so obviously that's gonna be personal preference. But for me, I really like the screen size on here. Luckily though, I haven't dropped it too many times or have had any serious falls, because again, this is a curved screen, definitely is gonna make it more fragile than if it was just flat. Overall, two months in, this is definitely one of the best phones that I've used. There is one issue though when calling people, and it's not just on the Pixel 6 Pro. This happens all the time with my wife's Pixel 4a 5G, is when you're calling somebody where the mute button's located, it's just way too easy to hit the mute button while you're talking to somebody with the side of your face. The only way I can think of not hitting that is to make sure your screen is locked before you're talking to somebody. I don't know if other people are having that same issue. I just know it's really annoying. Definitely something they could fix with a software update. Not sure if enough people out there are actually using their phone to call people these days. Just something that I've noticed recently and hopefully that they can fix with a software update. Here's just some samples of photos I took recently when traveling. I never once thought, man, I wish I had my Galaxy S21 Plus. I can literally just point at something and shoot and it's gonna be a really good photo. I don't even have to think of which mode it's in. I mean, it's just that easy. As everyone knows, Pixel phones are just really great at photos. The fingerprint scanner, it's still a little bit on the slow side. I'm, I mean, I'm kind of used to it by now. When I went back to my Galaxy S21 Plus, it was maybe a little bit faster. Neither one is that fast. I still miss the fingerprint scanners that are on the back or even the ones on the power button. They're just faster, a little more reliable. Now I will say I've been using Android Auto quite a bit here lately, and that definitely runs the battery down on this phone a little bit faster. It's still getting me all the way through the day though. Bluetooth seems pretty reliable on this phone as well. To me, I can't really think of anything that would say, hey, don't buy this phone. The only thing that concerns me a little bit about Pixel phones, I had one in the past where they did an update and the touchscreen was almost unusable. As long as they don't do that on this Pixel 6 Pro, I should be good for a while. Although Samsung is coming out with their new phone coming up. Well, at least I'm gonna enjoy this phone until that comes out. So if you've used some of the Pixel phones in the past and you're a little hesitant on this new Pixel 6 Pro, personally, I would definitely recommend it. I haven't used the regular Pixel 6, but I have a feeling it's really good. Just missing a few of the features you get with the Pro version. If you're trying to decide between a Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro, or a Galaxy S21, personally, I would probably go with the Pixel 6 Pro. And if I didn't have a YouTube channel and I didn't get the Pixel 6 Pro as a review unit, I would probably go with the cheaper Pixel 6. You get a lot of the same features and you're gonna save quite a bit of money. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may wanna say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.
Thank <laughs> you.